All right, so welcome everyone to something a little bit different. I'm going to be teaching you how to transfer your PAL world world save that you've got currently on your local machine to a dedicated server with your player data, with the everything you've built, with all your PALs, and how to do it for your friends as well. This is this hopefully should explain everything and hopefully it's easy to understand. You're going to need two things. I'm going to put all the links and the commands and all the strings that you'll need in the description to make it easier for you, but Steam CMD uh, Johnny, Bar Johnny Burke, this dude's uh, PAL world host save fix and what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to find your PAL world save on your local PC. So easiest way I do it is I just click run or type run I should say, go to percent update at percent which will then lead you into uh, roaming but we want to go into app data, we want to go into local, we want to find the folder pal and we want to find saved and we want to go into save games we want to go inside here there should be a number here it might be different for you and you should see your save games in here this was my original save game this is, seems to be another save game i've created somewhere along the line but this is my original save so what you want to do is you want to get this save file onto your hosted server now there's many ways of doing that you could ftp it across you could send it to a compressed zip folder which i've done here and then attach that to an email, send it over email. Um, I believe email's got two meg limit, which this is completely under. Uh, you could WhatsApp it across, you could FTP it across, which I've already said. You could Google Drive it across. Just, you could just get it onto your server. Once it's onto your server, we'll move on to the next step. So now I'm on my hosted server. What I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna head to Steam CMD. Uh, if I click on Windows at the top, because I'm doing it on a Windows server, this is a Windows guide, by the way, if you've not noticed. Uh, I click one, I'll download the file. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to show you the whole download process for... Right, so once you've got your world onto your server, and once you've also downloaded steamcmd.zip, you can then extract steamcmd. Once that's done, a new window should open for you. You want to create a new batch file, which will download and install. Uh, that's a folder, which we don't need. Let me just get rid of that. We want to create a new text file. And we'll call it start.bat. Mike's in the way, can't see my keys. <laughs> then, yes, I am sure I want to change it. We click on edit. We're going to enter this string here, which will essentially download Palworld Server and update it to the newest version that Steam has. Click Save. Run that. This will start happening for you now. Uh, this should take a while, depending on how fast your computer or server is. Now that's completed, it should automatically close for you. You should now have a bunch of stuff inside your Downloads folder, uh, sorry, in your Steam CMD folder. What we're going to want to do next is go to Steam Apps, go to Common, PAL server. Inside here, we're gonna want to copy this. So if you click on edit, copy from this first bracket till the last bracket. This is essentially the config file for your world. It contains max players, uh, server name, server password, all that jazz. We're gonna leave that for now. So it's post-production Vix here, just watching the guide back and I feel like I missed a step for you guys that might be quite important. So you'll actually need to copy all of this stuff, which you should have done by now. Um, and then you'll need to actually start your world. Uh, so if you go to PAL server, click this, this will actually start your world. Once it's started, you're gonna need to connect to the world and you're gonna need to spawn in. And what that will do is, it will actually generate this folder here, which is the saved folder. And what we can do in here is we can go inside the config, we can go into Windows Server, and in here we'll have all our config files. We want to open palworldsettings.ini if you want to mess around with the config, how many players you want, all that good stuff. Click edit, paste that bad boy in there, and then you can edit all these settings however you so wish. Now, there also may be a firewall issue that you may experience, but I'll get that in the uh, next part of the video. So back to the video. And depending on your system, uh, you may need to also configure a new rule to allow inbound connections to the port that the game uses, which is 8211. As you can see, public port 8211. So if we add an inbound rule, TCP 8211, 
next allow the connection next yes and we'll call it follow finish Make sure I get the poor. I think it was 8211. Yes. Eight two one one. Next. Is that UDP? Yep. Allow the connection. Yep. Next. Uh, we'll call this PAL2. So they're in there now on inbound rules. Bosh. Okay, that was it. Yeah, we had to configure the firewall both on TCP and UDP. I believe you only need one protocol, but I just did both just to be sure. As you can see, I'm now connected. My character is generated. And now I'm going to sort the world out so that my other character is back and norm my normal character and my house and all my pals are back in the game. Let's sort that out. So, right, back on the server. Uh, we will now need to close down the server for Pal World. So we're gonna be doing some changes moving forward. What we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna want to go into Pal. We're gonna want to go into Saved. We're gonna want to go into Saved Games. This is the world that we just went on with the character we just went on. As you can see, it's over here. We're gonna wanna go in here Actually, we're not going to go into here. We're just going to want to delete that, get rid of it. So in the zero folder, what we want to put in is... We're going to want to put our world in. So we put our world in. That's there now. We're going to want to copy everything here that was our world. We're going to go back to saved. We're going to go to config. We're going to go to window server. We're going to go to game user settings.ini we're going to edit this file that number that we copied is going to be replacing this number here we're going to close that we're going to save right once you've clicked save you're going to need to start your pal world again and then you're going to need to create another character and you're going to need to spawn into the game and what this will do is it will have three total players that have ever logged on to this world from my, in my instance. If you had four players, there'll be five characters. It'll all make sense later. But essentially, you need to do this because the game will need an extra character to import your old character onto. Now, what we've done is we've essentially put our world into the saved folder that the server is going to use. Next time we start the server, our world should be there and our buildings should be there also. However, our player stuff will not be there. We'll still be the same character. So to fix that, we're going to go back to uh, the first, the second link, which is the palworldhostsavefix.exe. Click on that. God, this is, makes it so much easier. It's a suspicious download, but... If you're willing to break your server that you have all this on, it should be fine. It should just be a PAL world server. There shouldn't be anything important on there. Go for it. Download that file. Then we're going to want to run. It's going to start doing some stuff. This could take some time depending on your system. Eventually, this should pop up. Once popped up, you want to click browse and we want to find, as it says, the level.sav file that should be updated. So if we go to PAL server, we go to PAL. We go to saved, we go to save games, we go to zero, we go inside here. There should, wait, what? That shouldn't be like that, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, so just uh, if anyone else makes the same mistake, inside zero should only be this folder and inside here should not be another one of this. So we want to cut this and paste. Now, if we go inside here, it should look like this. So zero, inside is the next folder. We should have all this stuff. Back to the program that we downloaded. Click on browse. We want to get this level.sav file here. So if we go to here, it's there. Sorry, level.sav. And 
it'll start doing some stuff now. Um, essentially what this will do is it'll have all the characters, it'll have the character that has been created on the server and it'll have any of the characters that you had on your local slash multiplayer world when you're playing locally. Once this does, once this is done, give it some time. It does say not responding. Don't, 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 don't worry. It's not a virus. It's, it's just doing, it's just locating your player files. Right, you just leave that alone. It'll take some time. It'll say not responding, but trust me, it's just doing stuff. It's just reading the game files. You should have three characters, yeah? So my old character is there, and I want to transfer him onto my level zero character. This will be the old. This is the old character going onto the new character. If I click migrate now, are you sure you want to do this? I, I'm sure. It'll do that. Once again, this will start doing stuff. Just leave it alone. Right. It's all done. Finished. Have fun. This window will close automatically. Thank you. We're done. We should be good to go. We're going to need to do this for every person who joins the game. So if you have a friend as well who was on your local save, he'll need to join the server first, create a new character. Then you'll need to go back to the server and transfer his data over as we've just done now. So if we go back to PAL server, we launch our game. And, and then we head back to PAL world. So then we go back to PAL world. We enter our IP address followed by the port. We click connect and fingers crossed. If we've done everything correctly, what we should be presented is our old character. And boys, I am proud to announce that this is exactly what happened. I've got all my data. I've got all my PALs and I've got my house as well. I hope that worked for you. If you could leave a like on the video, that'll really help me out. Thank you all for watching. Watch my Pal World stuff if you like Pal World. Great game. And I shall see you all next time. Oh my god. What the